a structure that has so much history and you want to make certain that whatever happens we're only going to make it better and enhance it. This truly in many ways completed George Eastman's vision. The facade of the building says for the enrichment of community life. And that is truly, I think, how it is valued in this community. This is a really interesting and challenging project because we had this theater built in the 1920s and one of the goals was to really preserve the historical nature of it. Everything that was done in the hall, including the addition of the balconies on the sides of the walls, moving the rear wall forward, enclosing the theater, all of that was designed to essentially create reflective surfaces so that the sound that came off the stage could go into the hall and essentially create a presence. So while aesthetically, I personally think it just turned out beautifully, the driving factor of it were truly the acoustics. In building an addition, the challenge was, do you make it look like a 1920s building or do you make it look like a 2010 building? And how do you put those things together? Our most pressing need was another recital hall. And we, I think, created a real jewel box in the Hatch Recital Hall. In thinking about the future of music, it's awfully hard to know what it's going to look like 50 or 100 years from now. But we believe people will still be sitting down together and making music. We do a, a tremendous amount of work today with what's called Internet 2, where we do real-time interactions with partners around the world. So we are doing both master classes, conferences, concerts with venues in Australia, the UK, in Asia. So this is a large rehearsal hall that is really designed, one, for large ensembles, uh, this footprint is larger than the Eastman Theater Kodak Hall stage. So whatever we put on the stage there, we can rehearse in this room. It is all tied into a state-of-the-art recording control room. And this is a room that was recognized in Mix Magazine as one of the hottest recording studios in the country. There's something incredibly motivating about being able to play in a very special space. For the student experience, once they're here, they truly do have a chance to both perform, but also learn on a daily basis in world-class facilities. To be able to be a part of that project and that process to both renovate this facility, but also to add on to it, it was really a tremendous responsibility but a great opportunity. We know that we've made an investment in the future, not just of Eastman, but in the future of music. And those students who are going to go into the world as leaders in music. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.